Hey guys, I'm Samantha from My 10 Feet and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are here in Monteverde and in this video we are going to visit the El Tigre waterfalls. I'm here with Leo and he has explained us a little bit about the waterfalls. We're very excited to go and see this beautiful place in Monteverde. Hi guys, my name is Leo. Welcome to the Tigre waterfalls just for enjoying the trail. It's this other side. Have fun and see you back in a couple hours. The El Tigre Waterfalls Park is about a 30 minute drive from downtown Santa Elena. If you visit during the dry season, a 4x4 isn't required, but we do recommend a high clearance car. If you visit during the rainier months like September or October, a 4x4 will be highly recommended. There isn't a direct bus or shuttle to the park, but you can get a taxi or book a tour with transportation if you don't have a rental car. As soon as we arrived to the park, we parked in the free parking lot and checked into the reception. The entire loop here at El Tigre Waterfalls is eight kilometers. You can walk the entire thing on your own if you want, or they have an option where you can walk the first five kilometers and the last three kilometers. You can either take a four x four Jeep or a horseback ride tour to go back to the beginning. Whether you're doing the full package or the big hike, I would recommend to give yourself around four hours, including lunch or coffee afterwards. We arrived at 9 a.m. and left around 1 p.m. after having lunch at the restaurant. The El Tigre Waterfalls hike takes you deep into the cloud and transition forest to see a myriad of waterfalls via a network of hanging bridges. The hanging bridges go over rivers, into the forest, and through canyons, creating a sensation of trekking deep into the wild Costa Rican jungle. The entire trail is a natural path with rocks, tree roots, and dirt the entire way. You'll first walk about five minutes through a garden and then the path starts heading down into the forest. Even though they maintain this trail very well, clearing the bushes and putting a rope rail, it still feels very natural and pure. You can tell that they want to keep the trail as wild as possible, but in a safe yet fun and adventurous way. This hike is really for those who love hiking. If you don't like hiking, not even one little bit, you may have a bit of a tough time getting into it. But once you see those first couple waterfalls, you will not regret visiting El Tigre Waterfalls in Monteverde. Something very important to know about El Tigre Waterfalls is that there are a lot of steps, as you can see. They do say that to do the full package, you need to be in intermediate condition and for the big pike to be in good physical condition, since there are a lot of steps and elevation climb. You will get a great workout, whether you do the five kilometer or the eight kilometer trail. We are almost at the end. What a amazing hike. It's so like dense and green, jungly. I actually didn't think it would be so humid, but it is as you can see, but this is great. We are here at point four. This is where you have three options to finish the trail. If you love hiking, you can keep walking the rest of the three kilometers. You can take a horseback ride, or you can take a four by four Jeep, which is actually what we're going to do. The park has their own restaurant, which is delicious, serving local Costa Rican food cooked on a wood fire stove. It was even better with multiple cups of yummy Monteverde coffee. We are done with the El Tigre Waterfalls hike. We had lunch at the restaurant. It was a fantastic hike. So much beautiful scenery, the waterfalls, the hanging bridges, everything was gorgeous. 
This is definitely one of the things we recommend you guys to do when you're in Monteverde if you love hiking. If you guys want more information about the waterfalls, all of it will be in the box below the video. I'm Samantha for my 10 feet. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.